by EVGA. The EVGA GeForce GTX 650 Ti has arrived, and with it brings tremendous price to performance value. So before we talk about any of the performance, let's go ahead and open up the box and see what we get on the inside. So the card we'll be looking at today is the SSC version. This offers a higher core clock of 1071 megahertz. So right on top here we have a DVI to VGA adapter. We also have a dual Molex to six pin adapter. Here we have a manual and a driver DVD and an EVGA case badge. We also have a small note here about the PCIe power inputs that are required, a note about PCI Express 3.0 compatibility, and a quick installation guide. And here it is, the EVGA GeForce GTX 650Ti SSC. EVGA will offer both 1GB and 2GB versions of this card, and this card also has a single 6-pin power input. This card also has 768 processing cores. Now let's go ahead and take a look at some benchmarks. I'm going to run the Heaven benchmark at a resolution of 1080p with the tessellation set to normal, 4x anti-aliasing, 16x anisotropic filtering, and at those settings I got an average FPS of 33.8. So now let's take a look at another application. I'm going to run Borderlands 2 at 1920 by 1080 resolution with all options max including physics at high. And with these settings, I was able to maintain a frame rate of at least 30 frames per second. EVG is also making available a special edition 650 Ti precision skin. You can download it from www.evga.com forward slash precision. So there you have it, the EVGA GeForce GTX 650 Ti. This card offers tremendous price to performance value, so if you want to learn more about this card, I suggest you visit the EVGA website at www.evga.com. Thanks again, and I will see you next time.